Hi there, um, Olivier in France, who's uh, made some nameplates for my other engines, has very kindly designed a CNC router for me to have a go making. So in this video I'm going to make a start on it. So I've already ordered the ball screws and rails from uh, AliExpress, but I think it's going to take at least a month for those to arrive. So in the meantime, I've uh, decided to uh, purchase all the aluminium plate. This is all 15 millimetres thick. Quite heavy stuff really. And that's come to about, uh, well, I, I guess at least over uh, 350 UK pounds. So this is the design that Olivier's produced. I must say it looks very, very professional. And I think what I'm going to do first of all is um, try and machine these side rails. And maybe this, this rail here that's going to join the two side rails up. So I'm just checking that this side is at uh, right angles to the bed. That looks pretty good so I can machine this side now. So these are pretty hefty pieces of aluminium. What I've done is uh, I've got um, these two edges at right angles perpendicular to each other. Likewise these two edges here. So I can use these corners as the origin. So what I'll do off camera is I'll mark them up and then I'll get back to you. Well that's the marking up done, probably a bit difficult to see in this light. Uh, but I'll go over to the mill and uh, start machining one of them. Well I was hoping to uh, clamp the piece down and do absolutely all of the machining in one go but uh, the amount of uh, travel I've got on my Y axis on this mill uh, just it's just not quite enough um, even when I've turned the piece around this way I, I still can't do it so what I've decided to do is uh, concentrate on machining this area here first of all so I've put this gauge on this good face here and on this good face here and it's uh, spot on uh, perpendicular so uh, I'll uh, crack on and mill that area. Okay so I've used an edge finder to uh, zero on these, uh, these two edges here and all the measurements are taken from these two edges and uh, now first of all I'm going to centre drill So these holes need to be M8 clear, ideally 8.2 millimetres, but uh, I've got this 2164 drill bit just slightly over. I'll do the other two off camera. 
So now I need to cut the groove which is 5mm deep and 15mm uh, wide. So each cut is uh, a depth of uh, one millimetre and this is a final cut. Looks like a good fit. So what I'll do is I'll uh, take it off the table, clean the table up, then I'll reclamp it um, uh, so I can start machining this area here. So now it's just a matter of um, centre drilling in the various locations and then drilling and uh, tapping the fuel them. So I've turned the plate over and now I'm doing a bit of countersinking. So now I'm using the bandsaw to cut the uh, big areas out. Well, it's slow progress, but it's getting there. So I machined the other one off camera and rough cut it to size. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just join them up with these uh, two bits of metal and uh, then I'll clamp them together and then start milling these accurately and uh, if I'm able to put these through and join them properly that'll prove that my machining is fairly accurate well this looks pretty good those holes are spot on the edge is spot on those holes are spot on so I'm really happy that it's uh, been accurately machined. So what I'll do now is I'll go over to the mill and start um, machining these edges.
So I'll continue using exactly the same method doing the other uh, edges and I'll get back to you once I've completed it. Well that method works for all the uh, edges apart from this top edge so I've had to uh, put it on its side and I'll uh, just mill it like that. So the final thing to do is to put a radius on this uh, corner here and uh, it's the first time I've used this rotary table, it's 8 inch di in diameter and uh, I struggle to actually lift it from the uh, floor onto, uh, onto the table. I should have used my lifting table to be honest. Uh, but anyway I've um, centred the table and then centred the part uh, on this position here which uh, I think is 40 millimetres from each edge. So uh, now I can uh, move the table towards me and uh, start cutting this radius. Well they seem to have turned out really well, so what I need to do now is to machine the plate that joins them at the bottom. Well this should be relatively straightforward. Now these holes here are M5 clear and these are used to hold uh, to bolt to the rails and uh, these holes here to bolt through onto the um, ball screw. Well it's pretty vital that uh, the edges here are perpendicular with the sides. So what I've done is uh, I've put a vise in here which has got this machined edge uh, very accurate and uh, I've bolted it down on the far side put a gauge on and it's uh, exactly perpendicular so the idea will be to um, butt this up against that with a bit hanging over there and just shave that edge off that's the plan. Well I think Storm Eunice is about to hit so uh, I better start cutting this before the uh, roof comes off the workshop. So I'll uh, unclamp it, I'll uh, check it with the machinist square, make sure it is spot on and uh, then I'll switch it round and uh, cut it to length. But I'll do all that off camera. I think I'm starting to push my equipment to the limit here. <laughs> um, so what I've decided to do, rather than drill the holes um, in this side, I'm going to uh, drill the holes and tap them in both ends. And to do that I've put it on the lathe. I've uh, taken the compound slide off. I know the distance from the top of my cross slide to the centre is 2.366 of an inch. So I just packed it out, bolted it down, uh, made sure it's parallel with the bed 
and I just need to start drilling and tapping. Well, I've just bolted it together as a test and uh, I must say it uh, looks pretty good does that. So I'll uh, take it apart and uh, mark it up both of these pieces uh, for drilling the holes. Well I've marked these two pieces up based upon Olivier's drawing and I was hoping to have received the uh, ball screws and rails from uh, China by this stage uh, but I haven't and it looks like they're going to be uh, delivered sometime in April which is way away. Um, now I'm pretty sure Olivier's got his dimensions right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sort of drill the holes um, on this piece here. Um, now this one is going to hold the rails and I think I'll just hope fire tapping these uh, because I'll, if I can I'll match the holes on the rails if there are any holes on the rails. Well I've first centred the DRO on the centre of the piece and uh, first of all I'll just uh, use this centre drill going round. Well that's all the holes drilled, M5 clear, which is 5.2mm. Uh, uh, now I've got this two flute end mill, 9mm uh, in diameter, and I'm going to go to a depth of 6mm. Uh, so this is to take the uh, bolt heads. Well it certainly took a while to get to this stage, there was quite a lot of machining involved there and uh, I didn't appreciate how, uh, how big it is, <laughs> it looks to be quite a beast um, but uh, very happy with it so far and uh, it's a bit disappointing that the uh, ball screws and the rails are going to take a, a while to get from China, um, I think they're going to take at least another month uh, but anyway fingers crossed they'll arrive here you know, sooner rather than later. Uh, but anyway, in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you later.